come out too as white as snow. Amen. You might be among the individuals here that might say, I'm not as bad as you think I am. Or I'm not as bad as some people. Well, if you're honest with yourself, let's see. You know, God gave us Ten Commandments. And in these Ten Commandments were God's moral law for mankind to obey. Rightfully so. If we compare ourselves to mankind, we're not too bad. You're not as bad as me and I'm not as bad as someone else. And, and we can play that game all day long. But when we take ourselves and compare ourselves to perfection, God's holy, righteous, and moral law, well, let's see. Have you ever, have you always loved the Lord with your heart, mind, soul, and strength? If you're honest, you might say no. Well, the reality of that statement that makes you an idolater. Have you ever used the Lord's name in vain? Whether a curse word or a filthy joke, well, if you're amongst that crowd, the Bible calls you a blasphemer. Have you ever looked at a person of the opposite sex with lust or sexual desire for that person in your heart? Jesus, from his own words, calls you an adulterer. Have you ever stolen something, no matter the price, no matter the size? Have you ever taken something that didn't belong to you? Maybe somebody's tool or a pen from work? If you say yes, the Bible calls you a thief. Have you ever lied? Yes. That makes me a liar. Jesus said this, and this is staggering. Grab your Bibles. We're almost done, I promise. I know it's long. I knew it was going to be long, but we're almost done. In 1 John... chapter 3 and verse 15 first John first seven words is my point whoso hateth his brother is a murderer it doesn't say like a murderer it doesn't say going to be a murderer. It says, whoso, 1 John chapter 3, and verse 15, declared the word of God, whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. Have you ever hated anybody? The Bible calls you a murderer. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. That's a tough one to swallow. If you're honest here this morning and your soul is in, in, in the hands of the great deceiver and you have simply gone through these questions and answered honestly, you might say that you're a blaspheming, idolater, adulterous, lying, thieving, murderer at heart. And right now where you stand... The Bible tells us that the wrath of God abideth on you. What does that mean? Just like a rain cloud that follows you to work, it's waiting for that moment to cash in. That's why it's so important. That's why Jesus said, don't look at the world, but look at your own soul. You know, some might say you have two choices. I'm just going to go ahead and erase one of those choices. You have one choice. The Bible gives you one option, one choice, one solution. Like the man with the super oxidizing solution, we have one solution. That's to repent of our sin and trust Christ who paid the penalty, paid the punishment for our sin. You say, what does repent mean? Well, that simply puts, it means you mentally acknowledge your sin, that you're a lying, adulterous, blaspheming, thief, murderer at heart, and you deserve the punishment of God. But instead of living your life to that day where you will be deceased and you'll stand before God and be judged, you right now could by faith trust Christ 
as the punishment, as the sacrifice for your sins. Amen. As we stand, as our...